everybody, it's Miranda from Miranda Has Plans. I am here today to talk to you about a new part of planning that I'm going to be adding to the channel. Those of you who have been here for a while know that I use the Dilusions Creative Diary to plan, which I love and I am still going to be using, so don't freak out. Um, but this is something else that I am adding as far as planning goes. Um, those of you who've been here for a while know that I am disabled and I live in a two-story house. So I have to go up and down the stairs with um, crutches. Uh, I use arm crutches. I have fibromyalgia and it's pretty bad. So I have a lot of disabilities that come with that. One of those is that I have to use crutches to go up and down stairs. So if I need to bring something with me, it has to fit nicely in a little bag. I can't have something too big because then it gets in the way of the crutches and then I lose stability and all sorts of fun, fun things. So I need a small bag and I need a small planner to go up and down the stairs with me. The whole point of me starting planning was because the fibromyalgia causes me to have memory issues and I don't remember appointments and I don't remember medications and, you know, important things that you can't be forgetting. So I need something that's not as big and bulky as the Creative Diary because I don't like the little one. I like the big one. But I need something smaller that I can take up and down the stairs with me so I don't forget things because ever since I moved my art room upstairs, that's what I've been doing. So I decided I was going to start bullet journaling, but I didn't know what bullet journal to start with. I understand that online the... Um, Gold standard is Archer and Olive, so I have one of those here, and I wanted to compare it to other cheaper options because Archer and Olive, for people like me, that is super expensive, and if I have to use more than one bullet journal in a year, that gets incredibly expensive. This bad boy, with shipping, costed me $42. $42. That's a lot of money. So I was like, this thing better like get up and cook me dinner or something. I need to know what's so great about this journal. But then I thought, what about people who can't afford $42 ever? They need cheaper options. And there are loads of them out there that are, you know, $5.99, $7.99, whatever. But regular viewers know, I use a lot of art in my planning. I use a lot of art products in my planning. So I decided to pick the top three options that I could find that were 160 GSM pages. And I tried to get them in the same number of pages, same size, so they're incredibly comparable. So I picked Archer and Olive which is 160 GSM with 192 pages and two ribbons, one of them with this really pretty gold uh, ampersand that is their company logo. Then I chose Vivid Scribbles, which is also 160 GSM with 200 pages, making it eight more pages than Archer and Olive. Six of those, though, are in the key the index and special pen test pages in the back. And then this one is from a company. I don't even know if you say their name or you spell their name. It's S-E-Q-E-S. -E -E and they are also 160 GSM with two bookmark ribbons. And they come with 160 pages. They're the closest, cheaper option that I could find. Archer and Olive, with shipping, cost me $42. Vivid Scribbles, I got off of Amazon, and because I'm a Prime member, I didn't have to pay anything except tax, and this total came to $24.95. And then SEQS, again, I got on Amazon, and it was $20.87. So about a $5 difference between these two which could make, you know, for some people could make or break the decision in what they want to use. But I figured these are relatively the same. 
So I wanted to go through and check them out with you. Archer and Olive, of course, like I said, is the gold standard and almost every bullet journal or bleh, bullet journaler that you find online uses Archer and Olive. The paper is incredibly smooth and thick and wonderful. But I'm weird. And most people who love books the way that I do won't think this is weird. But I smell these things. I'm here to tell you this has a chemical smell. This did not elicit joy in me when I sniffed it. It was kind of gross. Then Vivid Scribbles. Great paper. Nice and smooth. It has a little bit more tooth to the paper than Archer and Olive. But it is still incredibly smooth, incredibly thick. These pages are numbered. Archer and Olive is not. And this one, when I picked it up to smell it, was divine. It smelled just like books, which makes my heart sing. And those of you who love books, you know what I'm talking about. You're my tribe. Then we have S-E-Q-E-S. And when you lift it, open it, the paper has even more tooth than Vivid Scribbles. It does not, I, I don't like the way that it feels. These pages are also not numbered. And when I smelled it, of all three of them, this is the most chemical smelling of them all. I don't know what they put on this paper, but it reeks. And I'm hoping that goes away over time because yuck. Now, I did pen tests on all three of these, and I am happy to report that these are the pens that I use. Paper Mate Flare, a Micron pen, a Sharpie, both fine liners that I have, Arteza Inconic pens, a Posca paint pen, my Tombow pen, my Dilutions ink pens, and the mild liners that, you know, are popular online. Or is they, are they by Zebra? Yeah. And I also used some of the, um, the ink pad that I use for um, the Creative Diary. Sometimes I like to rub it along the edge. I did that with all three of these. The only thing that went through, or even ghosted in any way possible, was obviously the Sharpie. Because I haven't met anything Sharpie doesn't go through. And that, I am happy to report, is the same all the way through all three bullet journals. Now, I do have to say, of the three that I used Dilutions ink on, this one's the only one, the Vivid Scribbles, that had a little bit of buckle. But I think I used more ink on this one than I did the others, just to be fair. Because this was actually the first one that I tested them all on. And the same, like I said, for this one, all the same. And teensy weensy bit of buckling here. So as far as the Dilutions ink goes, Archer and Olive has a small advantage. But again, it's like the tiniest little thing. If you're being that nitpicky looking at my bullet journal, like close the book and leave it alone. I'm not meant for you. Because... Sloppy is my middle name. All right, so the other option that I found was there are bigger sizes bullet journals. There's a B, I can't remember if it's a B5 or B6. And the only one, the only company that offers a bigger size is Archer and Olive. And it has 112 pages, so it's quite slim and a, a good bit bigger. But um, other than that, they're basically, they basically offer the same sorts of products. And as I'm looking at it, S-E-Q-E-S -E -E is just a smidge, teensy weensy smidge smaller. Not enough, I think, to make much of a difference in your spreads. As far as the covers go, uh, Archer and Olive has this lovely, uh, like, cloth linen cover which I love because it makes me feel like it's like old-timey books and I like old-timey things 
Vivid Scribbles has two cover options. They have the old-timey cover like this, and they have this, um, I don't know what they call it. It's not leather, but it's like faux leather. Base, both of these options are vegan as far as their covers go. I couldn't find anything on SEQES. They have a faux leather uh, cover, and it feels so nice. It really does. It feels even better than the Vivid Scribbles. So I don't know what they use to cover it, but ooh, la, la. I like touching it. Both of these, Archer and Olive and Vivid Scribbles, both came with lovely boxes that you can reuse. I don't throw this stuff away. You can put markers, pens, scraps, stamps that you've done all in these boxes. Don't throw them away. Keep them. It's part of the price. And look, they're lovely. This guy did not come in an attractive box. Didn't have much going on. However, it did come with a nice fine point pen. It's quite hefty. Feels quite good. I wrote with it for a little bit. Works great. And it also came with these little tab stickers inside the cover. So that was nice. All three have a pen loop. And here's my big complaint. What the heck, man? Why is this bugging me? I don't know. But there it is. This great big rivet meant for the pen loop, how they attached it. I don't know. Maybe it's really great. Maybe it's something these guys should have. But this bugs me. So, all things being equal, if I had to pick an option, I would say if price is not a matter or is not uh, an issue for you, pick between these two. These two are almost exactly identical. The only differences that I can find is this has two ribbons with a lovely little charm. This has three. No charm. This has no page numbers. This has page numbers. This has no key. This has a key. This has no designated pen test page. This does. That's it. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. So you have to pick. Are the amount of ribbons important to you? I got to be honest with you. These things drive me nuts. I will likely wind up cutting it off. Because I don't like it. I won't cut this one off because it's got a pretty thing on it. And I don't want to do that. But ribbons don't matter to me. Key pages don't matter to me. Pen test pages don't matter to me. Those of you who've been here for a while, you know, I use a lot of art. So when it comes to my bullet journal, guess what that pen test page and the key pages are going to wind up being? Art. Because I cover over it anyway. So it doesn't matter to me. So when it came right down to it, if I had to pick which journal I would buy again and keep buying, Vivid Scribbles. Solely because I can get two of these for the price I pay for one of those. And that's what it comes down to for me. They're the exact same thing. They're exactly the same wonderfulness. This one has a chemical smell. This one doesn't. And that's a big thing for me. The pages are great. The paper is great. But this, this is the bad boy I would buy two of before I would buy one of these. Simply because same product, but twice the amount of money. And I know I might get some hate from bullet journalers online because they love their Archer and Olive. And I'm not saying it's not a great product. It is. But I can get two of these for, I can get almost two of these for the same price that I can get of these. And that matters to me. So, I hope this review has been good. Those of you who have been around, stay tuned because we're going to be getting into some bullet journaling. And I will show you how to use some of your Dilutions products in it. These aren't going to waste, by the way. I bought these. These were not given to me free. These bad boys are getting used. So, you will see them again. But this 
is the one that I plan in the most. I'm probably, well, this one actually is my reading journal. So, you know, I've got things in it. But um, I'll continue using this. I don't normally film this. But we're going to start off with Archer and Olive for this year. And this will probably be the second part of the year. And then next year, Vivid Scribbles. I hope this has been informative for you. If you've liked what you've seen and you want to see what I'm going to do with these, please click the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you get notified for a new video. And I will see you in my next one. Have a great time. Bye.